Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Newell's Old Boys Save. We start off just showing you the finance page. As you can see, it's basically £37 million. And yeah, really secure. Lots of money in the transfer budget. Um, just to show that we are, you know, fine for money now. Um, and another thing before I dive into what's happened off camera, you can see here we loaned out one of the viewers, Gazza Allen, um, to another team in the, in the same division. 13 appearances, 12 goals, 2 assists. He's been incredible. You can see he's starting to really become like, you know, pretty important player for them. I mean, he's valued 2.9 million. Um, purely because of how effective he's been. You can see down here, he's won Copa Argentina game, 2 goals. 10 goals in the league, 2 assists. Um, outperforming his XG amazingly well. I would have called him back. I could have, I could do with him as well, be back in the squad, but I don't want to destroy that that run he's got, and he's going to be definitely in the squad next season. Give him a couple of games and see if he can like push on because the finishing needs to go up. But maybe because he's so fast and you know you, can, you know well those stats they're pretty good to be honest, and maybe he is more of a right uh, winger. But advance forward, maybe when teams are tired, maybe he'll be quite quite destructive there. Um, I'll show you the squads. You can see the stats here. Who's performed? Perez Tika, thirty-five goals in forty games, um, two sub appearances. Is um, attributes are going a little bit down. I think they they fluctuate sometimes and will shoot back up. I'm sure. Um, history. You can see he's not doing as well as last season, but he's still got thirty-two goals. He's one goal above the second top goal scorer in the league at the moment. So he still needs to smash in a few more goals to claim the third golden boot of his career. Uh, but you know, league games to goals is, is still incredible. He's just turned 22 years of age. Um, and yeah, you can see, you know, Marco Rhea has been a really important, our captain now. He's been really good. He's wanted by Man City. Lissandra Fernandez still wanted by big, big clubs. And Jadada wanted by a Chinese club. So is our new signing, Roger Gustavo. Um, he's been solid. You know, can't complain. Wonder kids. His finishing has gone up a little bit. He's doing very well. You can see eight goals, six assists. You know, not too bad. Um, so that's the squad really you can see Lissandro Lux has had a few games mostly sub appearances, he's got 3 assists Patricio Corti, that 16 year old I've given him some game time our squad's been thin but we've been doing okay um, and Ala's been really good um, Ayala you know, looks like he's improving every day pretty much um, since we left off we beat Independiente 3 0 and we've gone on a really good run especially in the league as you can see, if I just go through these games slowly, you can see the, the familiar goal scorers. Obviously, Perez Tic is on there most of the time. Um, we did lose the Argentina Super Copa final. I don't really care about that, but Boca did get a little bit of revenge on us. As you can see here, we beat Perez Tic gets a hat trick. Um, I still need to count up his hat tricks for his career so far. I think I'll add that towards the end of the season. Um, we get revenge on Boca in the league, though, massive because they were second at that point. We had um, a bit of a, a shock loss in the Libertadores group. There was a little bit touch and go whether we would qualify, but I'll show you the end of that group stage as we had a few sending offs, to be fair, um, in the group stage. I mean, the, the sending offs are the ones we actually managed to win. Um, so there's no excuses there. Um, Garrido, um, he was on loan for a bit, but I, I recalled him back instead of Gaza Allen because I'm not sure, but Garrido, he has actually been good. I've liked it. He's been back. He's got some, well, only two goals, but they were pretty vital at the time being. And he wasn't getting played at Lanus anyway. And I've got a soft spot for him. I think I can resurrect his, his career, especially here anyway. Um, the bogey team, who I hate. We lose to all the time or draw. I just hate them. Um, Perez Tiga with an important goal to make it one all draw against um, the Brazilian side in the Libertadores. And yeah, we just keep we just keep winning in, in the league. Um the group stage, you see we qualify through goal difference. Um, oh, I mean, we say we qualify. We we haven't actually played the game yet, but we're playing Estadantes de Merida um, and the other two play each other, so we will get through that. I know it's not official, but we will. We will. Um, but today's episode, double header because we could win the league against Banfield today if Boca drop points and we win. Um, but I'm expecting to win both of these games and Boca probably won't slip up, so... We'll play these two games and hopefully we be, we get crowned the champions of the league once again in those games and then 
yeah, then I'll probably conclude the season. Um, I think that's everything. I wanted to catch you up on off camera. Um, there's probably a few things that I'll, I'll miss, but um, I'll see if I can remember them in the game. Um, so we'll get into the game now, the first one anyway. And we'll start off with this squad, yep. Yeah. Valentine in goal, Fernandes, Miranda, obviously centre-backs, and Gerardo Sosa, Ayala, Rhea, midfield, really like this midfield too. Garrido on the left, Roger, Roger Gustavo on the right, with Aquino behind Rezdika. Junior Aquino's had... He's, he was a bit injury prone this season. You can see he's only played 17 games, but he's been a little bit off the boil. Um, Chelsea were interested in him earlier, but hopefully he can pick up a bit of form. We haven't been, like I said, we haven't been like ruthless. Um, our goals, like XG and stuff, is like aggressive but wasteful. And that kind of sums up this season. We've, we've won lots of games by one goal. That's 3 2 or 1 0, you know, that, that tends to happen at the moment, which I can't complain about. I mean, it looks like we're going to win the league much more comfortable than last year. So that's progression in my eyes. So we get the game underway. I was in Banfield. They were always a little bit of a tricky side. You never know which uh, Banfield are going to show up. As Greedo has a corner. Whips it in. Over the crossbar. Um, yeah, so I think we will end the season obviously as champions, hopefully, in this game. Worst case scenario, next game. Focus on the Libertadores massively because it obviously goes on to next season and hope we can just avoid the Brazilian clubs till the final you know we're going to have to play uh, Flamengo in the final or, or semi-final you just know it and they are definitely the, the best team probably in South America especially with the signings they make um, it's going to be difficult because you know we play a big side once in a while in that competition and the rest are quite easy to beat I would say as Carido gets his third goal of the season and he's shown a little bit of prom pro uh, promise again now he's 21 probably going to turn 22 in six months or so if I can remember correctly but he's had a bit of a tough time but he's just shown his, his class he's got good finish on him he's got good technique he could probably develop a little bit better than he is now so yeah he's not he's not over here yet um, Marco Rea is like obviously wanted by Man City and he's been such a good fielder like his mental's incredible especially for a 20 year old um, but Man City obviously after him I want to keep him I think the top three players that kind of sum up our save is Perez Tika Rea and Sosa Sosa and Perez Tika are actually from a real life players and Rea is a regen but yeah I like them They, I think they're everything we stand for so I'm going to try and keep on keep hold of those three as long as I possibly can as Carlos Miranda makes no mistake with the penalty can't believe our centre back still the highest penalty take take at the club but it doesn't matter it's quite cool He's like our Sergio Ramos to us. Um, he's played so many games for a 19-year-old. I'll have to show you that um, end of the season, if I can remember. As we look like we're going to hopefully dominate this game and hopefully get a few goals and they can show off as Perez has been put through. What a goal that is. That is beautiful. Um, Ayala with the incredible through ball. He's got brilliant stats in that area. And Perez Tiga runs on, finish it, finishes it with ease. I just whips it in, back a mask. Perez Tika just taps it in the back of the net. But that's what he's born to do, Perez Tika. I want to keep hold of him as well. Um, I've rejected so many bids from China and, and stuff like that. And Bologna yes, last year. But you know as soon as like a big European club comes in, or like even like a lesser one, he might be really tempted to, to go. But he is on a decent contract here. I think he's on like 17 grand a week. Um, and he's got good bonuses and stuff. As oh my goodness, what a goal. Julian Aquino, I was slagging him off before the game and he's gone. He's just, he's pointing at me, you can tell, and he's just shushing me from a dip, from afar. But you know, you can have that one. It's a brilliant goal, smashes it in. That's what I like about him. He does quite good through balls and like he's quite good on the ball like that. But if he can't pass, he'll dribble and, and smash one in like that. I'm singing his phrases now. So fickle. Um, 4 0. What a game. Hopefully, Bocker. I mean, I should get it up, really. Um, if they drop points, let's see now, latest scores. In any you know, in any form, we do become champions this game, I think. Well, they, they're winning as well, so get lost, Bocker. As Aquino just misses. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll obviously play this game. And hopefully, next game we, we win. And I think that means 
we become champions? I have no idea. I'm just kind of winging it and see what happens. Sometimes the funnest way. Um, you know what? I'm delighted. They were under pressure this before by the media, so you know, I'm delighted. <clears throat> Hopefully, there's a long shot goal here. Go on, miss it. Nah, is that Coronel? Is that our Coronel? Could be. I wonder. I know he moved again. I think there could be another Coronel here, but I'll have to check. I'm interested. I wonder if because he went to Brazil and I actually liked him, but money does talk sometimes. That's Perez TK holds onto the ball. And so sad. I really like it. I, I didn't realise it. it was really high crossing for a left. I think he's got like 14, which is pretty at this level as well. Really good. Back post, Roger Gustavo. Um Oh now I've changed this. Oh I don't think we're gonna win at this game. But we'll Go back to Banfield's formation. Let's check. Oh no, he's a, he's a wing back. That's not him. No. I mean, hopefully he's doing well in Brazil still. Coronel. Let's just have a hoof set away. Perez TK. Is he going to go on a little dribble? He has got this in his locker. Who's last one? He lays it off to Garrido. Go on, Garrido. Whips it in. Oh, bit of a weird highlight. Um. Yeah, I think big places to improve to make sure we win the Libertadores. Our goalkeeper, he has got a bit of a howl on him sometimes. Um, he's been outplaying, outperforming his, his ability anyway. So I do need a goalkeeper. Um, Lissandro Fernandez is good. I think I think he is probably good. I do need like a backup kind of a good centre back. I'm play. I got like two youths on the bench really that kind of cover, but it might not be good enough for. You know, to to be proper cover, to be honest. Um, I'll make some subs here, just um, save some energy. You know, a bit risky, not box to box really, but you can do a job there. And let's get Lissandro Lux on. The six foot four wide target man. See what he can do. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's been a really good game. But yeah, I th I really want the Libertadores, and then I can kind of evaluate what I what our plans are. Um, a bit more. Ooh, is this horrific by <laughs> by Sandro Lux? He didn't even look. Um, don't want to get too far ahead because I think it's going to be quite difficult to win the Libertadores. But I am, I am thinking. And Argentina is struggling. I mean, maybe there's a big European team that's struggling, and we can take a bit of the core of the players. With us, Lux bends it. Oh, beautiful! First goal. This is his first ever goal. Free kick. He's had a few assists. He's been playing out on the wing, but he just shows he's got. He has got technique. Whips it straight in the top left. Goalie, no chance. That's Andrew Lux. Welcome to Newell's. Sosa, to Sioni. Oh, rubbish. 5 nil. come on, give us a, give us one more. Show off, boys, come on. But yeah, I think Perez Teague, obviously, <clears throat> he didn't get as many goals as last season so far. I mean, he could go on a bit of a run. But, you know, he's, he's such a deadly striker to have. It says that he can be inconsistent. Oh, they smashed one in. Um, So imagine if he didn't have that inconsistency in his rapport. I mean, how many goals would he score? Um, I feel like I should have trained him to try and get it out of it, like mentored him a bit more. But hopefully he kind of grows out of it, if that's a thing. Um, as it looks like, the game will end 5-1. Lux swings it in, but it wasn't to be. Stop him then, come on. Oh, I'm a sip of water, I thought it was that like, easy to defend. As they, yeah, saves and that's the end of the game. So, it looks like we have to wait until we win the league to the next game. We'll see Bok obviously won. Yeah, so 13 points clear. Oh, yeah, Bok won 5-3. And we shall see now. Um, yeah, two assists for Jordada. Okay, well, I'll skip forward to the next league game. So we're back and we're about to play Atletico Tucumán. And I think if we win this game, we become the champions for the second season in a row. Um, so yeah, pretty incredible. Just to go 
you know, uh, before we go into the game, basically, Gasper Hallen has got himself another two goals. He's now 3.1 million. I think he was 2.9 before this game. Um, but he's got 12 league goals, 14 and 14. Incredible, incredible. Um, we'll get into the game. Massive game. Still, oh, they're still wanted. Get away from my players. Um, promised. Okay, youth players on the right. That's fine. Um, same team again. Garrido gets the nod over Carabali because he's been a little bit injured to Carabali. He's been really good, you know. He's on the edge of just blowing up, and him and Gustavo both are. So that's good to have. As you can see, yeah, if we win this game, let's just concentrate on on proving the media right. Oh, yeah, right, I would say. Um, so yeah, massive game. Hopefully we can win in style. And yeah, hopefully we can get our second title today. Ooh, we type a pitch. Nice. As Angelado sweeps up. They got one strike. We should be able to handle the counter attacks. I say that. We'll see what happens. Um, Sosa skips past one. Can he find anyone in the box? Whoops, it cost goal. And there he is. Roger Gustavo surely helps us on our way to the second league title of this save. What a ball from Sosa. You know, you know that I love him. Normally he finds Perez Tika. This time he's found the right winger. Labelled the next Ronaldo, but I don't, you know, I don't think he's going to get quite, quite get there. But for now, he's smashing them in. As we have a free kick going, Grado, I, yeah, I've mentioned it last game. I'm starting to, hopefully he can step it up a bit and get back in the fold, you know, as Gustavo wins the ball. Down this right-hand side. Arla, what's he going to do? Play it back. He looks like, a, I don't think he'll be around for long, Ayala. He's like, he looks too good. Surely, like a a, a Barca are gonna sneak, you know, snip him away. I mean, selling a player straight to Barca would be mad. Maybe more like down the line he'll get there. Selling Jamie to Dortmund's a huge thing. Um. Ooh, is that is that a penalty? Is his Claudio Dar still at? Oh, look, I think that's an own goal. But Julian Aquino takes it. Why wouldn't he? Fourth goal of the season. Bit of madness for their keeper. It's a little bit of patient build up, you know. Surely that's a penalty, so we deserve that. Gustavo recycles the ball. Quino shoots. I mean, that's that's not his goal. That's an own goal. Anyway, he's claiming it. No one's taking it away from him. Two 0 to New old boys. And yeah, it feels weird. We're gonna win the league again. I mean, it's, I think it's a pretty good feat to to back it up straight away. Um, so yeah, really pleased with that. I mean, it helps when you got a, you know, a deadly striker and a solid team around him. Barker Juniors don't know what have hit him. Keep it up, boys. I can't wait to see the goalie do a cartwheel. As yeah. Ooh, there could be a little highlight here. Hopefully, we're in control of the game. Ooh, lunges in. And 2 when? Are they going to be party poopers? Hope not. Calm down, Benjamin. You're still losing, mate. He runs to his fans for no reason. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Perez Seager hasn't looked too interested in this game. Hopefully, maybe he's waiting. He's waiting for his moment. There's Mark Aria, the captain. Ayala, Ria, spreads it out wide to Anjadada, back to Ayala, Quaino. We're looking for an opening, taking our time. Good play, what a save. Ray just absolutely thunderbolts when good save by the keeper. Palms it over for a corner. Coming around, they get his bounce on this. Whips it in, clear away. It'd be nice if we can just kill this game off with one more goal. Nice bit of trickery there by Ayala. Ayala. Um, I'm thinking maybe, yeah, we'll get... Come on, Lex. He, he deserves another little appearance because he got a goal, didn't he? I'm a bit annoyed with Perez ticket. I think because of that, Carabala can have a go up top. It's more favoured position, but he's at the play on the left. But Carabali gets a few minutes up top as an advanced forward, which I think he could be like more deadly than Perez Tika, but... I've got too much respect for him. 
Ayala. I mean, it's good to know if Perisic does go, we do have a replacement. But I think Karabali will be headhunted soon enough as well. As we look to kill off the game and celebrate the title in style. Can we find one more goal? Surely we can. Ayala launches it to Garrido. Good touch. <clears throat> back to Ayala. Raya back to... Oh, good play. He's, he's offside. He's offside. Karabali, you're offside. It was a good play, to be fair. It was a nice finish. But it's not to be. Still to win. Nine minutes until the title. I think... Let's get another sub on. Who should we have? Let's get... Let's get Sione. He does deserve it. He's Sione's kind of lost his position at the moment. Because of Viola being the new signing. And that looks like... We become... Yep. Ah, oh, it's another thing again. Where it just... Skips past it, but I know we'll go back and it'll be this is a little thing and it flickers back. Let's just see. I got a steam achievement. What does it say? You've won three consecutive top division league titles. I don't know if it's three to my account when it was two. Um, and there we go. Mark Aria gets to lift the trophy. There I am clapping away to myself, of course, and the refs are loving it. We're in the away stadium, so yeah, not too many of our own fans. We're just kind of throwing it in their face. We'll watch the, the classic cartwheel. There you go. And we'll just get out of here. Um, yeah, so not bad at all. We win the league for the second time. Not the third time, Steam. Go home. Um, amazing. Amazing. Lovely. Um, I wonder if... So that's yeah, the second year now... I wonder if we have to wait a week or so. Um, let's see if I'm getting a little bit more in the icon area and see how long it takes for me to become the, the next PL, sir, Newell's. You can see Perez Teak is obviously an icon now still. So, yeah, beautiful. Um, I think there won't be any more news reports, really. Um, so, yeah, I think... I suppose I'll catch you guys up at the end of the season awards. So I won't say end of the episode because I know I'll say it and then I'll have to add it on and it'll just be stupid. But before we go, um, you can see there, Gazo Allen gets the Argentina Premier Div Player of the Month. Appearances 4, goal 6, assist 1, 7.95 rating. I mean, that's amazing. He's going to be interesting, I would say. So yeah, that's cool. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in like five minutes for the season award end thing. End of season awards. I think that goes, yeah, we'll keep. So here we are. We're at the end of the season. I'll show you the games quickly um, that we played on to get to this point. We beat Atletico Tucumán to win the league. Argentina fifth round. Um, Sandro Lux gets a goal to add to his first for the, the last game. Carabao gets a goal and obviously you can see Garrido. Then we win the... Um, Last group game of Libertadores, Lux again and Carabali. It means we finished second in the group, joint on first points. Grimola or it's Grimello, you know, let me know. Um, so not too bad. And then the last few games of the season in the league, you know, Perez Tica, Gustavo, Luis Fernandez, Lissandro Lux, Miranda, Perez Tica, and then Marco Ria, the captain, gets himself a hat trick. Quite a nice one as well. And Perez Tika adds. So I think Perez Tika ends the season with um, 37 league goals, 14 all competitions. Um, we'll check. I th he did get top goal scorer. Um, but while we're here, we'll have a little look. Yeah, 37, he gets it by one goal. So this guy, Jimenez, put up quite a good challenge. He's wanted by um, the Saudi Arabian team. Um, it'd be nice if he went. Um and most assists wasn't one of us. But as you can see, um, Prez Tiki obviously gets his third golden boot. Goals per 90, just over one. Um, pretty pretty sensational. Um, team overview, is there any interesting things? Obviously, we've got the most goals, most shots, best pass completion, most possession, most dribbles, fewest conceded. So we are starting to absolutely dominate in pretty much every aspect that you want, you want to be. Um, this is the squad. You can see it's a small squad. Um, 
and they're the stats, the ones that stand out. John Andradada, right back. To be fair, I kind of like him because of his crossing now. Um, it's still like seven, it's eight. He's got two caps for Argentina. He's wanted by a Chinese club. He's got 11 assists. Um, Carlos Miranda gets nine goals, three assists. Lissandro, three goals, three assists. Sosa, not so brilliant. Four goals, uh, four assists, no goals. Marco Ria, solid, 11 goals, 13 assists. And yeah, you can see solid numbers from pretty much everybody in the team. Carabao's debut season, he gets 10 goals. Not too bad, he's been played on the lap, like left wing. He's wanted by Toronto, I mean, good luck. You know, what do you think of his first season here? Um, Prezdig, obviously, 40 goals, 5 assists, incredible. And Sione's done pretty solid, considering he's made half his, quite a good chunk of off the bench. And Gustavo, what do you think of him? He's got 12 goals, 9 assists. He's probably been slightly better than Carabali. And he's also wanted by a team in China. I think we'll be able to hang on to most of these players this summer. Um, our, we'll look into that in a minute, but our finances are solid. Um, you know, 39 million to spend, 300,000 pound in wages. Messi's retiring. Sad about that. Um, a little bit to see if we can get him for at least a game. Come on. Um, anyway, end of season review. Record high points for Newell's. Um, it's also a Argentina Premier Division record. We got um, 104 points, as you can see. So we smashed the league. Uh, anyway, let's get into the review. Da -da -da -da. So <clears throat> transfers in. Galo uh, Carabali is obviously the best. It says eight A star, which is really nice. Um, we obviously had him for so cheap. Seven million release clause is actually quite worrying. So I need to renew that and get it to more like 15 to 20, I would say. A C for this, Roger Gustavo. I'm not too surprised it's a C. I mean, because we paid a big, big sum for him. Kind of like panic needed a solid player. So I'll try not to get any higher than that, really. And Ayala got an A. Um, low wage and stuff. I think there's a solid signing. Can't complain. Transfers out. Probably a little bit of hate for a few of these. Um, Claudia Dar. C, but you know, he's been tearing it up for uh, for Flamengo. Uh, I've got some news as well. We've got during the second round against Flamengo, which is probably the, the hardest team to play, and especially when you've got this guy eight caps for Argentina, four goals. I was hoping he'd be sold by then. I hope he doesn't just stay there like Gabriel Bar uh, Barbosa um, has because they've got such a solid team. Barbosa, vice captain. Yeah, I mean. We'll look into that probably next episode. Um, oh, let's go back now. Review, come on. Ah, oh, here we are. Um, and yeah, you can see the ones. I uh, won't go through more. They're just a little bit annoyed, probably. I mean, we've got decent money for them all. Jamie's obviously a bit gutting, but we had to sell him. Um, loans out, you know, Gaz Allen. E, they're disappointed. Um, I'm not, because he's got incredible little run. Um, average home attendance, 91%. Competition top goal scorer, Perez Tika, we finished first. Yeah, surely that's uh, pretty solid. Um, yeah, obviously we have Flamengo next, so it's going to be tough. If we beat them, then we could really get to the final, I think. Um, Cardio Argenti uh, Copa Argentina, you know, pretty uh, pretty solid. Um, competition results. I I'm trying to remember board expectations. Oh, it hasn't started. It's like restarted. I, I, yeah, I keep forgetting that. It's already started. I just played the fifth round. And obviously, that rubbish thing that Boca beat us to. Um, biggest win, 7-1 against Banfield. I think I showed you the goals for that. Match, I remember, Independiente, 3-0. That kind of showed that we were pretty much the best team in the league. And goal of the season is um, Ayala. I think we saw that. But he just smashes it in from, uh, from distance. Finances, if we can get to him. Really solid. Um, shirt sold. Prez, Tika, Caraballo, Quayno, Miranda, and Ayale. I thought Gustavo would be on there, but yeah, maybe next season. Yeah, nothing to really worry about there. And this is our best lineup. I mean, yeah, can't really, can't really complain. Ayala will probably be there next season. So yeah, that sums up the uh, end of season. Well, the accolades next. Just yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, five man of the, manager of the month awards, manager of the year. I don't. It doesn't really come through. So like. Solid that. Oh, maybe because it's the first time. I always think the last two seasons I've got it, but it's maybe the first time I've won it then. Unless it hasn't, I don't know, 2024. 
I don't know. Sometimes it can be confusing. Pan's player of the season is Miranda. Young player of the season, Miranda. Sign of the season, Carabali. And yet we've seen those things. Um, competition awards. Uh, Premier Division best player, Perez Tika. Top goal scorer, Perez Tika. South American footballer, Perez Tika. You get the picture. Uh, he wins pretty much all the awards. Bar Miranda. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty solid there. Some of these awards, I feel like they mentioned them twice, but that well. And yeah, you can see youngest player, Patricio Corsi, he's played a few games. What do you think of his stats? He's, you know, just under a million value now. So yeah, he's played a few games for me. History in the making, what's the next thing? Yeah, very solid. Happy with that. Two league wins in a row. Um, let's see the club vision. I imagine it's just going to stay the same. As you can see, training facilities improve and youth facilities. Um, that's going to be really good next season. So I'm hoping the youth intake as well is like brilliant. So they want us to win the Premier Division next season, which we obviously want to do. We want to make it three in a row. But the Libertadores is now. That's surely going to be... Um, actually, end of next season, they've relaxed it a bit. Okay. But yeah, I really, really want to get through to the Libertadores. Um, I think we will leave it there. Um... You can see, obviously, Perez Tico wins these things. And look, Bruno Mourinho, I'm just looking at him again because he's kind of like not wanted, but I'm not sure for that much money I will bring him in. Um, he was mentioned at the beginning of the series. Um, I'll have a little look. There isn't too many signs we need to do, I don't think. Maybe a few born ones at like goalies and, st and stuff like that. But uh, like I said earlier, um, we can see here we play Flamengo in the, in the second round so early on, but I suppose it's good to get him out of the way. Um, and see what happens. I'm trying to see now if um, Copa Libertadores will go on past winners, and we'll just yeah, Independiente won it this year. Um, Flamengo, Boca, Gabola, River Plate. Since we've started, Flamengo have been like there and thereabouts pretty much all the time. So yeah, we're gonna have to beat them to win it anyway. So I suppose we might as well get it out of the way, nice and early. So yeah, I think that's everything I need to show you guys. Um, yeah, so I think I'll leave it there. So yeah, thanks for watching this episode, and uh, you know if you enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe. And see you guys next episode.